Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Nick Nickham. This is Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Many people including myself had tremendous challenges using the Logitech Extreme 3D joystick as far as rudder control and aileron controls are concerned and just recently i saw something they have added and i wanted to go over that so we're going to come to logitech here and we come to sensitivity one of the things i have seen that has been added is uh, the extremity dead zone which was not there before let, let me show you what i mean by that if if this was not there before it used to go from zero it would go to extreme change in angle and that's not what we really want we want the small incremental changes in the angle of uh, the flap or the ailerons so in order to accomplish that we can put it to like 50 percent and we have a much smoother so when we do we are getting only half the amount of turn that we want which is what we intend to do and by doing that this looks quite different from the previous uh, settings I had and I could not for the longest time understand why my planes were flipping from one side to the other or running from one end of the runway to the other end of the runway while taking off so let us see if this will make a difference I have added approximately 14 percent to dead space so when I am shaking this uh, Logitech uh, you know it is not moving too much uh, as you can see no numbers are changing whereas if I just do this one it's got a much smoother uh, movement uh, as compared to the previous one and if I take out this extremity dead space you can see what happens uh, here see come here and all of a sudden it jumps and from this point to this point the change in angle is extreme and same thing from here if you come here from here to here the angle is extreme and that's not what we want but by introducing this extremity dead space to 50 percent the maximum angle change is reduced to 50 percent of what it was before by adjusting this angle of ex extremity dead space we may be able to get a fine tune that uh, you expect in a Cessna 172 uh, or any other plane because in reality I, I think the real planes don't respond like this if they do they wouldn't be getting off the ground uh, in a safe manner and land in a safe manner for that matter so let us see if these changes have made any difference and let's try to uh, let's go oh, okay apply and save yes for oh, please let's start a flight here KSG Sugarland Airport and then we go to hobby uh, KHOU I want to be in flight and show you some of the differences and uh, maybe also show you some difference also we'll just change this to runway 17 so we can be in the right direction also I want to do a flight plan where we can uh, I go to low altitude IF and we get a chance to do an ILS landing so it gives a nice straight path here anyway we got the flight plan here let's keep going as far as the rudder is concerned first of all we don't need very much movement because it's already in the center line so I think we can reduce the movement the extremity dead zone by considerable amount because basically we want the plane to be in the center of the runway the other ones ailerons we going to need because we may need at least up to 30 degree change and that's all we need but when you go from the top to the bottom that is almost like 945 degree change that's way too much let us see if uh, those changes have made a difference the msfs 2020 is updating i guess it's updating sometimes without even my knowledge and all of a sudden a lot of my controls are gone for good all right let's go here again i don't understand let's go to weather let's make it a daytime here it's 5 p.m why is it 5 p.m and also i don't know why it adds uh, like snow here 50 percent snow even though i live in texas i don't need a precipitation and uh, let's make sure that runway is clear all right let's that's better so even it's cloudy so let's see why is it so cloudy 
I want to make it sunshine here. It's no depth, aerosol, get rid of aerosol, we don't need aerosol. Temperature minus 5 degrees. Let's go up. It is 11, 11 o'clock, I don't know why it's looking cloudy here. I don't know how it decides. It's, uh, I need to do a couple of things here. I need to set the heading to 172 bug. Caution, get rid of this. We're going to be using autopilot and navigate through this uh, flight path we have set up here. Flight path we have set up here. There are a lot of things I do for ILS landing, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Let us see. First of all, we check the, the rudder function. Now let's see the engine throttle. Okay, see how the rudder movement is going to be. Okay, it's beginning to move. So the rudder is much better than what it used to be. It used to go from one end to the other. So even now it is kind of, see how wobbly this is. It's not supposed to be. We are coming up on, but this is probably the best I have gotten so far. So we're going to just lift off a little bit and we need to keep it around like 7.5 degrees and I need to turn it a little bit this way and the movements are much smoother than they used to be. What is it saying? See again it has a problem with... So this has made a big difference in terms of uh, one the rudder control and also the ailerons as I said uh, when I move this uh, it has a much smoother uh, changes uh, as we expect uh, and uh, let me get inside and set up a autopilot here autopilot 2800 that's good so it's going to stay there and here's the flight uh, director and uh, this is our uh, this one my autopilot should uh, begin to do this and also we go and press uh, heading and press nav so it will uh, it is picking up the speed and it is following this pathway as you can see here and it has to pick up the altitude I had issues with the altitude but hopefully it will pick up the altitude as we go along let me make sure we have the altitude going here and uh, vertical speed needs to be set up 400 feet so now we are beginning to see the autopilot is on its GPS is following in this line here we have a vertical uh, speed of 400 feet and uh, let, I think those minor changes they have made a big difference let me try the aileron and see uh, if it how it responds before it used to kind of just uh, see I, I have a much smoother uh, even then it is kind of flipping which I don't like uh, and whenever I do that it, it flips on the other side which is not expected I don't understand that part uh, hopefully we can fix that but at least uh, I am able to I think I may have to reduce the the changes in the aileron more than 40 degrees uh, so this is a, a significant improvement from what it was just a couple of weeks ago and my plane was having a hell of a problem, you know, stalling all the time. I had no idea. My speed is going up here. As you can see, I can reduce the speed a little bit. But uh, I think uh, this new addition of uh, extremity dead space uh, has uh, remarkably reduced uh, the deflections by almost 50, 60 percent. So we have just minor adjustments and hopefully it will give you a much better flying experience uh, going forward. If you have any new suggestions uh, that you have been able to discover, uh, please uh, uh, leave in the comments and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for your attention.